Hey, what's going on, High Level? Um, I saw this question in the chat somewhere this morning, and so I figured, hey, there's probably a lot of people that want to do the same thing. Um, problem that we have is with the affiliate link setup. So affiliate links, as of right now, give Go High Level a week, and it'll probably be different. But right now, you can only use the affiliate link on a purchase. And our company, um, like many of yours, probably requires a booked appointment or something to happen prior to the sale and you want to make sure that your affiliates still get credit for that. So here's the solution. I, I kind of mentioned it in one of my comments is here's how we do it. But I figured I'll just record a video and show you guys exactly how I do it um, so that you guys know. So this right here is just a form that we have attached to a calendar. At the bottom of that, we have affiliate ID as a hidden field. So you just put the query key in as am underscore ID. Now, the reason that you do that for anybody that wants to know is that when you go into your affiliates, uh, I'm just gonna pick my partner here, Brendan, and you go and you look at the campaign that he's tied to, It's the query is question mark am underscore ID. So we're just matching that same query field with that hidden field because anytime somebody visits your funnel or website from an affiliate, it's gonna have this on it. So it's automatically gonna put this affiliate ID into that field, which is then going to track it with that contact. So then all you need to do is create a trigger link. This is a workaround right now, uh, but it'll work. So anytime that somebody comes in from an affiliate link, you just create a workflow that sends out the affiliate link and then you just build your URL like this, um, contact affiliate ID. So that is obviously a custom field that is on the form. So this just takes that custom field that gets put in by the ref URL into that form. And so you just send this link as your link in your follow-up campaigns for somebody who's gonna purchase. Um, what's gonna happen is that if that affiliate ID field is completed and it's filled in, it's gonna tie that to your affiliate. If it's not filled in, it's just gonna be nothing and it's just gonna be a, a flat out sale for you. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, you can just DM me or shoot something in the comments. I'm always happy to help the Go High Level community and good luck selling. Take care.